Yo, what is up guys? Welcome back to this channel. I have a huge announcement. Pretty much me and Isaac are gonna start streaming both on Twitch and YouTube. We're gonna be doing uh, tons of different live streams. Our goal is to be doing it two to three times a week. We know we're for sure gonna be doing it on Sundays. And uh, I need you guys to go and follow our Twitch right now at Views TV. If we have random days we decide to stream, follow our Twitter. Mine is gonna be Gabriel Lewis 6 and Isaac is gonna be underscore underscore Isaac Daniel. Hopefully you guys enjoy this. I'm super excited to start doing this. We have, again, we have tons and tons of plans with this, so. And also, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let's get going. I still see your shadows in my room. Can't take back the love that I gave you. It's to the point why I love So pretty much what I'm going to be talking about in this video, if you guys have not read the title yet, I want to be talking about one of the biggest things that is going on in YouTube history. If you guys don't know and you guys have been living under a rock, this guy right here, Logan Paul, is about to fight this guy right here, KSI, in a boxing match in August, I think August 25th, if I'm not wrong. Uh, and pretty much it's one of the biggest things that's going to be happening in the YouTube community and the reason I'm so excited is because it shows what this YouTube platform can do. It shows how big something can become and that's why I'm so excited. That's why we have to talk about it and I want to give you guys what I believe and what I think is going to happen. So give you guys a whole backstory. KSI had his first boxing match a while ago with a guy named Joe Weller. He beat Joe Weller and ended up calling out the Paul brothers. Jake Paul, Jake Paul, Logan Paul. Any of the pools, I don't care. Yeah. Uh, I think it was something I think it was something with the dad they were trying to make a joke or whatever it didn't look like it was gonna happen but then it got serious and it ended up turning up into an actual boxing match that is now scheduled for August the brothers the little brothers Deji and Jake Paul ended up agreeing to fight as well so it's a brother versus brother type deal in this entire boxing thing and it's, it's pretty insane to see how like who's gonna win I know they're from like the UK so it might be like you know it's like the UK versus the US and I'm gonna start off with why I want Deji to beat Jake Paul. And this is why I want this to happen. Okay, and again, if you guys disagree with me, if you're Jake Paul fans and you guys wanna hate on me, go ahead. This is my belief. I'm not saying anything. If Jake Paul ends up winning, then kudos to him. He won, that's good. Deji ends up winning, then that's awesome for him. So, this again, how that ended up happening was Deji was calling Jake Paul a pussy, was calling him all these things, and the fight ended up ended up being between them two. Jake Paul tried to do a couple videos on him, tried to like diss him, press him and all this stuff, and whatever, things ended up happening. Long story short is when the fight finally happened between the two, it really looked like Deji was like not the man to take this on. It was like it looked like he was, I don't know if he would look scared, I don't know if he looked like he was just not prepared. It really seemed like Jake Paul might be the man to take this in. And that is why I want Deji to win. I love when the underdog and the man who no one believes in ends up coming forward and taking that W. There is a couple of things that Deji has said that was like kind of cringy and stuff. Same thing with Jake Paul, but at the end of the day, it's like, I want Deji to win for those specific reasons. I think it'll be so sick if he comes forward, ends up knocking out Jake Paul, ends up winning in a, in a uh, ends up just winning overall at the end or whatever. and. I just think that is so sick. Jake Paul does have a higher advantage. I do believe Jake Paul has been in wrestling, has some fighting experience. I do believe that, uh, you know, Jake Paul at the level yeah, he might have better boxing training. I've been seeing some of the things saying that Deji lost his trainer, all these things. But again, all of those things that's pushing Deji down makes me want to have a win. Like it makes me want him to come forward and be like, yo, I went through all this bullshit, I went through all these things, and I ended up taking that W. And I think that's so sick. Again, if Jake Paul ends up winning this, Kudos to him, nothing gets both of them. They both doing the thing. They both have, you know, their issues. Jake Paul's done things that has his issues. I have nothing, I'm not gonna talk about that. I don't wanna talk about all the things that they've gone through. I just wanna talk about the fact that Deji is being pushed to the ground and if he comes up and takes that W, that's gonna be so freaking sick. And I hope you guys understand that. All right, we gotta talk about the main event, the reason a lot of you are probably clicking on this. So this is why I think Logan Paul might win. I don't want him to win. I don't care if he wins. I, I'm honestly neutral in the middle. If KSI wins and I ever get to meet that man, I am going to congratulate him. I'm going to shake his hand. I'm going to say, good job on beating this man. Same thing with Logan Paul. On a level of boxing, I am just thinking about the game. I'm thinking about the competition. I'm not thinking about what KSI has done. I'm not thinking about Logan Paul and what he's done. I'm thinking about the level of boxing. And if we're being completely real, we're going to talk facts. 
And I might, again, let me do a disclaimer because I might be wrong. There's a lot of things I don't know about KSI that he might not have publicly came out with as far as training, things he's done in the past, and et cetera, et cetera. But Logan Paul, it's a fact that he has been athletic, it's a fact that he's done wrestling, and it's a fact that he's been in the fighting scene and has done things like this competitively. There's one thing that I do believe that he might be able to beat Logan Paul. And let me talk, get this out of the way before I explain why Logan Paul might be the one who's going to win. Pretty much, KSI has had a fight with Joe Weller, and he's been training since that fight. He went from that fight, immediately calling out the Paul brothers, and then hopping on this one and still training. His level of boxing has been going forward and forward and forward. And if you guys have not watched the press conference, watch it right now. I'm going to put up a clip. Fuck you, Logan! Fuck you, Logan! Fuck you, Logan! Fuck you, Logan! Fuck you, Logan. Fuck you, Logan. Fuck you, Logan. Right. How you feeling, bro? Is that lip quivering? Yo, hey! Is that lip? How's that lip? Hey, I would love to sit here and answer your questions. Right, I feel fam. like KSI addressed everything. All right, JJ. Finding them out. Just, I'll see uh, you August 25th. And pretty much in that clip, you can see that KSI is getting into Logan Paul mentally. If KSI ends up winning, it's on a mental thing. It's not on a level of high, it's not on a level of power, it's on a level of him being able to get into Logan Paul's head. And I need you guys to understand that. If KSI comes in with this W, it's because Logan Paul's not at the state of mind he's at. He's not ready for this fight. KSI is, he's mental. He went in there harsh. He went in there saying the shit that no one probably would expect him to have said. But on a fighting and a competitive level, I think Logan Paul might take this W. Let me explain. Again, Logan Paul has fighting experience. He's done his thing in the past. He's done everything. He's gonna come in and he's gonna be freaking competitive. He's gonna be ready. He's not gonna go down easy. Even if he gets KSI gets some hits, Logan Paul I feel like is gonna push through it. Those are the things that I think are gonna step forward to make Logan Paul a winner only because he's ready to take those hits. He's ready. He, he knows he has the upper ground. He knows he's a little bigger. He knows his grounds and stuff. He knows how to move. Boxing is a little different than wrestling than what I believe he's done. But I know Logan Paul has that, has that, you know what I mean? Has that, uh, he has that push. He wants that want. You know, Case already took that W. I feel like he's already like, I did it. I've done that. So that's why it might be a little bit on the Logan Paul, him winning. Now, as a person, if I'm looking at these two, and based on what has happened between the two, I would want KSI to win only because of the past. It would be really cool if KSI would have taken the W and pretty much would have pushed down Logan Paul's ego a little bit. But I also do believe that Logan Paul understands that his ego is really high and he needs to change a lot of that. So, pretty much to sum up this entire thing, I want Deji to win. I mean, he will be sick. I hope he's been training. I hope he's ready. A level of competitive. I don't know where Jake Paul stands. I don't really want to speak on that behalf because I don't know and I really want fucking Deji to win. I think it'll be so sick. Logan Paul versus KSI. I think Logan Paul is going to take the W because on a level of competitive and a level of power and what he's been doing and what he's been through as far as competing and working and, you know, training, I think Logan Paul might take that dub. Just to sum it up before you guys start hating on me, Deji, I want him to win. Logan Paul, I don't really care who's going to win, but I think he's going to win. We can do bets, we can do whatever. You guys can comment below who you guys think, but I'm ready for this fight. And I think this is going to be some huge changes in the YouTube community because of this. And that's why I wanna talk about it. And I really hope you guys comment. I really hope you guys say what you believe because this is something huge and this is something that so many people are gonna be watching all around the world. Click the subscribe button. Get ready for another video. I got some crazy stuff in mind. I have so many things. I know the guys been talking about what they wanna do independently, what they have planned. And I need you guys to just follow, stay in contact, stay what's up, and be ready because we got another video coming next week and I'm really excited.